Hello everybody! In this video, I will show you how I made this oversized overalls. I try to keep it very simple and minimal. No zippers and only two buttons. Okay, let's get started then. I chose this mustard colored linen for my fabric. I only made six pattern pieces. Like I said, I was trying to keep it simple. I have the back piece, the front piece, the back lining, the front lining, the back leg cuff, and finally, the front leg cuff. I cut two fabric pieces out of the front pattern, two pieces out of the back, one piece out of the front lining, and one piece out of the back lining. Then, I cut out four fabric pieces out of my back leg cuff pattern and four out of the front leg cuff as well. I then decided to add pockets, so I made a pattern piece for it. Cut two and don't forget to transfer any markings that will help you place the packets in place when you're sewing them. First thing I did was to overlock the raw edges and then fold in the curve of the pocket and sew it down. Next, you want to press the edges with your iron so it's ready to be sewn down onto the front pieces. Make sure you pin the pockets following your markings and then sew it in place. Now, put a front and back piece right sides together and sew the leg and side seams together. Once both are ready, put them right sides together and sew along the center front crotch and center back seam. Make sure you properly align everything. Overlock or zigzag all the raw edges. Now cut out lining for two of the front leg cuff and back leg cuff pieces and iron them. Then put two back and two front leg cuff pieces together and sew the bottom of each piece. After pressing down the seams, put a front and back piece together and sew the side seams. Fold them and do an edge stitch on the bottom. Now the leg cuffs are ready. To attach them to the legs, I first need to do a gathering stitch on the legs. I chose to hand stitch this, but you can use your sewing machine to get it done faster. Once it's all gathered, you can pin it to the leg cuffs. Starting at the side seams and making sure to align the front part of the cuff to the front of the pants and the back side of the cuff to the back of the pants. Spread the gathers evenly and pin everything in place. Then we can sew it in place. Now we can turn it over, fold in the seam allowance for the inside of the cuff and pin it in place. Then sew on top of the stitch line. This will keep the raw edges tucked in while keeping the stitch line hidden on the right side. Now, for the lining, I also cut out the same pattern pieces out of thin fusible interfacing and then ironed them down. Next, I overlocked the bottom of each piece to get rid of the raw edges. Then, I sewed the side seams together. Putting aside the lining for now, I will work on the straps. I will be making a braid out of the sew fabric. Let me show you what I did on paper first. I cut out a long rectangle and divided the width into three equal parts. Then I cut the lines, being careful not to cut all the way through. And this is what the fabric piece looks like. It is about 16 inches long and the width is 9 inches. To braid the fabric, just clip it in place somewhere to help you get it started. And then just braid away. Once I got close to the end, I made a knot and pinned the three ends of the strap together. I measured my buttons and marked my buttonhole, then I cut it open. 
I will be hand stitching the buttonhole. First, by adding a quick stitch line around the buttonhole to hold the fabric in place, and then all around the edge with a blanket stitch. When both straps are ready, then measure the length needed from the back of the overalls to the front. Then cut away the excess from the straps, making sure to leave half an inch seam allowance. Now we can sew the straps in place. To do that, we need to sandwich the straps between the overalls and the lining. Pin the straps and lining in place and then sew all around. Now get rid of the excess seam allowance with pinking shears. And don't forget to cut away the excess in all the corners so there's no bulking. Turn it right side out and press down the edges. Then do an edge stitch all around the top to give it a clean finish and to keep the lining down. The last step is to sew the buns on the overalls. And that's it! Our oversized overalls are ready! These overalls are very comfortable and very breezy. Perfect for the summer days. I think they're simple enough to make. One thing I would change is maybe cutting the straps in so they're even and less distracting. And maybe even getting rid of the buttons. There's absolutely no need for them. I could just sew the straps to the front and I would still be able to fit in the overalls since they're so big. But overall, I'm satisfied with my overalls. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Till next time.